It's a saga worthy of a soap opera or a TV miniseries. A father swimming in oil money. A son lost too young. A will contest. A money-seeking stepmother. And courtroom battles in two states over a small fortune. Sit back and enjoy the family drama as we explore Estate of Clark. Dillard Clark retired from the Army with the rank of Major. The court calls him Major Clark, so we'll do the same. Major Clark and his first wife had three children, Edwin, Dillard Jr., and Alice. The Major lived in California, and he owned land in Oklahoma. In 1922, oil was discovered on the Oklahoma property. The Major conveyed the mineral rights to his children in equal shares. In 1923, Edwin died. His estate consisted mainly of the Oklahoma mineral rights. If Edwin had died intestate, the Major would have inherited the estate. But Edwin left what purported to be a will, which left nothing of value to his father. Two weeks after Edwin's death, the Major married Eliza, who became his second wife. The Major contested Edwin's will in the Oklahoma courts. He won in probate court, and the ostensible heirs appealed to an Oklahoma district court. In 1925, the Major settled the Oklahoma litigation for half of Edwin's mineral rights. The Major died in 1926. By then, he'd earned over $150,000 in royalties from the Oklahoma rights. That's over $2 million in today's money. California law distinguished between separate property and community property. A surviving spouse had little or no entitlement to a deceased spouse's separate property, but she had a significant entitlement to community property. Leaving aside the Oklahoma rights, the Major's entire estate was his separate property, not his and Eliza's community property. The Major's will left most of his estate to his remaining children. The will also established a trust for Eliza, giving her lifetime income from around $40,000 in securities. But Eliza saw a bigger opportunity in the Oklahoma rights. She claimed that the rights and royalties were community property because the Major obtained them during their marriage. She therefore waived her rights under the will and opted to take her spousal share, which was the minimum amount a spouse could inherit by law. That share would include half of the couple's community property. Thus, Eliza's claim pitted her against her stepchildren for a small fortune. The Major's will was probated by a California Superior Court. The court held that the Oklahoma rights and royalties were the Major's separate property, which went to his children under the will. Eliza appealed to the California Court of Appeal. 